Hello everyone and welcome back to another repair video on the channel. My name is Antoine and today we have an iPhone 11 came with restarting problem every 1-2 minutes. So I'm going to speed forward the introduction because I don't want you to wait so long for the restarting and make this a long video. Uh, because we have a lot of explaining to make in this one. Uh, so basically the history of the device, what the customer said that he has a car charger and he is charging his phone with it. And after a couple of times the phone started to restart by himself. So for me, as I mentioned in an old video about uh, I2C iPhone panics, which I guess it was an iPhone X, is that you need to check out the analytics data in privacy settings and search for panic-full. So again, they have been introduced from iOS 10, I guess, and they are like an indicative of a hardware problem. So if you have some sort of the same problem as I have over here, you need to go and check the analytics data and read the panic. Of course, each panic has its own code, so you need to read it correctly to find your problem. So I guess basically this is your diagnostic for this kind of problem. So here we go. As you can see, the phone just restart by himself. And now let's go to settings, privacy, analytics data. So we can read the panic. Here we go. I'm going to show you that the panic is today, the same data as today, as you can see on my Apple Watch. Let's go and enter the panic full and read the panic. You can read the panic after the panic string, CPU, and as you can see, AOP panic pressure controller, which I guess is um, mentioned something to do with um, barometer, which is located on the iPhone from the iPhone XS and up on the charging flex cable. So now we are going to open the device and see if the charging flex cable is damaged. So let's go. So now we're going to check the barometer area for those who don't know what is barometers on iPhones. It's just basically the thing that measure altitude. Uh, could be used for measuring climbing and of course Apple included this vent uh, when they removed the headphone jack from the iPhone 7 and replaced it with barometer vent and from the iPhone XS as I mentioned and up the, the barometer is now on the charging flex cable. So I had a couple of cases despite the damaged flex. You need to check the housing if it has any corrosion. Uh, it could make this problem but if everything is okay we are going to go and change the charging flex and then uh, that's the phone. So I guess uh, everything is looking clean over there under the microscope. So let's try to change this flex. So we've changed the charging flex cable and now we're going to test the phone. Again, I'm speed forwarding almost everything because it's not that important for the main problem that we are having today. So now uh, this is the old uh, charging flex cable. As you can see, this is the barometer. And just throw this out and waiting for the phone to boot up. If the phone uh, is uh, go uh, restarting again, that means that we have a problem with the uh, logic board. We have the sound, we have everything. Everything is looking okay for now. The latest panic, which is before we change the flex cable, charging flex cable, which is the same AOP panic pressure controller. Now let's see if we have the same problem. And as you can see, the phone just uh, restarted. Yep, again on Apple logo, restarting, and now we're going to go to privacy and analytics data and see what is the panic that we are having. If you have the same panic, that means that we have a problem with the logic board. Something to do with the barometer, and as you can see, yep, AOP panic, pressure controller, that means that we still have the problem. Now we're going to remove the board and see under the microscope. Now, the reason why I jumped uh, to the charger flex connector in the board is because the AOP uh, panic uh, mostly stands for an audio problem or something to do with anything uh, with any flex or any line that has a relationship with audio signals lines but AOP also stands for automatic operator but after AOP panic it could mean anything in our case we have the AO panic pressure controller as I mentioned that it could be a problem with the barometer uh, but now after we uh, change the flex cable which the barometer is on the flex itself we are going to uh, measure all the lines on the charging flex cable charging connector uh, on the board and as you can see we have a short on a line called speaker boot to coil out negative which is a boot signal to the coil which is in the speaker itself on the side negative out and also we have a short on arc to solid out negative also the same but a negative sign as I said but they are not always shorted so that's why we need to keep in mind that uh, they could be the problem because I checked other working boards and the situation was the same but not the same for the, um, uh, the connector the upper connector the flex upper connector which uh, I found that we have a shorted line 
uh, shorted line on speaker top to coil out positive also a top to a coil that has uh, in the speaker itself out positive side so also measured and turns out that it's shorted to ground so I guess the problem could be the audio amplifiers but again just in case I'm going to change all the audio amplifiers including the arc and then check all the pads under each one uh, if everything is okay you can change the ICs and see if everything is good so I guess that's uh, what I'm going to do and see if we can solve this problem After finished, I'll work on the board. I'm just going to show you right here in the settings. Let's go and see the last time the phone restarted. The panic was in two days ago uh, in the fourth, and today we are in the sixth. So almost two days with no restarting by himself. And of course, the time you will see this video, you can check how many days this phone was in our repair shop. But of course, we will turn it back after three or four days. Uh, of course the complete update will be in the end of the video now sometimes this phone uh, restart by himself after restarting it for a uh, time or two so now I'm just going to test the device once again because in the last two days I was restarting the phone like uh, six or seven times a day so everything was okay as you can see as, as you saw in the in the settings uh, in panics so now waiting for phone to boot up, if everything is okay. In the end of the video, I will uh, tell you the complete update. The, yes, the complete update. Because this video will be uploaded later on YouTube. So as you can see, everything was fine. So uh, yeah, everything looks okay. The sound, yep, everything looks okay. So I guess, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and have a good day. And I'll catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.